Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, my website information is down below, but I do still have a hold on those. And thank you guys for being patient with me. I have just been uh, moving constantly. I'm settled for right now, but I'll probably be moving again. So just to give you guys a heads up, um, yeah, just be patient with me. It will settle sometime, maybe someday. Okay, so, oh, and as always, thank you for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the good karma donations. Cancer. Um, <laughs> this is interesting popping out because you have the vision. So this is, I feel like, you. Yeah, you either having, like, visions around a particular person, maybe dreams, or you're getting, like, almost downloads about a particular person that either they're thinking about you or they're like trying to come into your energy in some way, shape, or form. Like you, you guys just might have random thoughts around this person. And that could be the entanglement of you two thinking about each other at the same exact time. So let's dive into the details of this. If this isn't based around a particular person, which I do think it is, um, it also could be that you're having visions about like, you know, your whatever dream you're wanting to manifest. That's possible too. So let's pull into this. Fascinating. Okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo. It's possible with the Hermit card. Here's the thing though. Um, you have the Nine of Wands. So there's a definite relationship that you've been entangled with that is a test for you in a way like it really tests your patience your perseverance it it almost is a test to the strength of your relationship with this person because it's not easy i think you dealing with this person yeah because there's probably a lot of hermit modes or times of distance that you go through between each other right because you've got contemplation and soul searching it's like you guys will come together and I think that you do have an intense connection with one another with the vision card. I think that you possibly are really, really connected to this person, hands down. So it's like, I think even at times that can be a bit confusing for you because sometimes the relationship becomes so hard that you just are like you're at that point of giving up that's always what the nine of wands says is it's kind of like giving up on something or you're close to giving up and so it's kind of like you do that and you almost have to go into times of hermit mode even from this person just to like kind of get your energy back or just kind of go through contemplation like what the freaking hell was that <laughs> you know because sometimes the mirroring can become so intense that you're like you're just trying to process it and what it's coming up for you I mean it's obviously connected to your childhood I could dive into that for days but let me see what pops out here let's just get a few more details on this okay popping out oh four of wands so this is like some of you this could be marriage it's possible or it if it's not it's something around there we go it's like you or if this is a connection there was a time where you thought there would be some type of union or connection between the two of you maybe even for some of you you thought this potentially would be marriage and so it's interesting if that's not the case, there's almost like a level of connection and depth that you have with this person um, just because of all of the really good moments that you have with them. Four of Wands is celebration. So it's kind of like you're almost committed to this person in a way because of the joyful moments that you have together. Okay. Because coming on overhead is the... Re oh, oh, I thought that was the Wheel of Fortune. It's the World card. Wow. So I do want to say for a lot of people, this is like 
completion of a commitment. Or, or maybe you're just thinking about it because the world card is what's hanging over your head. Like maybe you're thinking about completing a cycle, like maybe with a person you feel like it's finally at this, oh wow, we might really be done. Um, and maybe that's a little bit weird for you to get used to because this is a person that I think that you've been in a cycle with cancer, like where it's been possibly back and forth in and out of your life. And that's why it possibly had turned into such a burden with the nine of wands. It was a really big test. And it's interesting though, because we have the reverie card. So this is wishes and dreams. But I feel like there's a big question mark hanging over it. It's like, um, kind of a question, is this ever going to come together? Maybe that's com what's coming up in your experience. In the past position is the Ace of Swords. This is communication that I think, um, like, cut off communication. Because Ace of Swords can be boundaries or, you know, like, wanting clarity. Like, there could be a desire to have communication with a particular person and communication to clear things up or to understand certain things, but there could be a blockage in that. Like someone's not allowing it in some way, shape or form, because maybe this is even the other person that you're dealing with cancer that they're like done. They want this to come to a completion because it feels a, a little bit cyclical with the world card. It's that's a cycle. Okay. Oh, wow. So seven of swords. Oh, man. So you could almost either you're feeling cancer that you could be feeling like someone's like sneaking away or someone is like just trying to walk away and not say anything. Like they're just sneaking away in a way like they're they're not going to reveal anything. They're not going to give you any type of communication and maybe that's even vice versa. So maybe this is all flipped in reverse that you're the person that's possibly walking away and not saying anything at all. Oh, six of pentacles. Because this is this is in the fear position, Cancer. It's almost like there's a fear to reveal certain things or to expose. And I like the curiosity is why. Like, why is there this fear of giving too much? And it could be because there's like an imbalance in this relationship in the first place. Six of Pentacles can be, and this can be, be confusing. That can be Seven of Swords, confusion around this. Because when people have different love languages, when they give in certain ways and those don't line up in certain connections, that turns into an imbalance. So, for example, one person can be giving emotionally and then the other person doesn't give emotionally. They give in a material way. And they're like, I'm being very generous. And the other person is like, no, you're not. I'm giving my emotions and I'm not getting anything back. It's because there's a different way of um, expressing that love and that generosity. Okay. And it's from a protective way. Or Does that make sense? But look at this. Knight of Cups. That's a lot of emotions. That's the strength in this situation. So I feel like there's the possibility that someone will be coming in with like a love offer or offering their emotions, which might be a bit of a surprise. In fact, let me pull this next card. So here's the five of cups. To me, what that's saying, there could be a relationship that possibly could come in and offer emotions because this is very different. But the way Five of Cups looks is possibly cancer. If this is a person that like maybe kind of snuck away and didn't say anything, there could be this breaking point of like, I'm done and you're releasing this. And it is with sadness because I see there's like a lot of joy and a lot of commitment there that maybe you have or had to this person. But there could be like, a coming back in in some way, shape, or form, and you're really looking to release this person from your life. And it's not easy. I, what I'm actually getting from this is it's almost like it's too little too late or maybe the damage has been done in a certain way. I'm not recommending this. I'm just picking up on the energies. So I'm not at all recommending what to do here. I'm just picking up on like emotions and what people are thinking because I almost feel like 
Cancer, when you pull away your energy, this is fascinating because your final outcome card is the Four of Swords. So some of you guys could be feeling as though like you'll almost have more peace of mind by releasing it. You know, that that could be the thing that possibly brings balance and restoration and healing energy back into your life is you pulling away from this particular person or, you know, deciding to come to a completion. So that's why I see that it's hanging over your head that you're wondering, like, maybe even deciding, is this something that is done? Because I can see more than anything, you're just desiring your peace of mind. But there's a lot of stuff to learn internally from this. So I think that's what I'll dive into the, in the extended and see whatever else wants to come out about this. Because Reverie card, I still feel like there's something there that you have towards this connection and with this person. Or vice versa, this person still fills it with you. So we'll dive in the extended and see what else wants to come out. So Cancer, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Cancer, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.